React Case channel creator. I'm Lindsay, and she's from the Classical Musicians React series, and today we will be reacting to Blackpink's Kill This Love. Um, also, if you like any of the fan art on my wall, I put all the fan artist's information in the description. Anyway, so I have seen the teaser for this. I I'm not. very excited. I okay. have not seen a teaser. I have zero <laughs> idea of what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, this is, this is our like in-house channel blink. So that's why we're featuring her today, <laughs> reacting with me. And yeah, you, you ready to kill this love by listening to the killer instrumental and... <laughs> Bro, I'm always ready. <laughs> Oh yeah, also shout out to Forma Therapy for letting me borrow their camera because I have no idea where mine is and we're on a time limit. Ready to jump in? Let's go! Yes. Kill this up! Low Korean, baby. The low Korean minor mode. I just like those bedazzled, like, glittery glasses. Those are cool. Matches the bright timbre of the trumpet synth. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like the black and white theme here. Uh -huh. It's very like... I like kind of mysterious. It kind of matches the vibe of the music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. They're ending their phrases differently. Jenny had a lot of... No! Yeah. It's really like sudden, kind of like... Whoa. We have slowed down. Taking it back. Mm -hmm. Adding harmonies the second time around. Holy shit. She is a conch shell. That's insane. Nice syncopated synth line. Er, this feels line. like a pre chorus to me, but I don't know yet. It's definitely the pre chorus. Yeah. The movement is speeding up. The building. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. I really wanted that to drop more than yeah, but it did. And it added this like element of kind of. Suspension? Oh my god. They're still going with like the black and white theme mm -hmm. too, like... Oh my god. Wow. They're so badass, I cannot. Oh my gosh. I really love the pitch synth. Yeah, it's a very Fiona thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Pitch up. Yep. Bye. This kind of... There's just so many different sections of yeah. the song. They all sound so different from each other. I feel like this requires a second listen because I think the instrumentation changes. I can't quite remember. And then they don't hit the bass. Yeah, okay, well, okay. there's just no bass. That's... Oh my god. It's, it's just the fact that the bass doesn't last for so long. No, the bass just isn't there for the beginning of the, like, for the first couple bars of the chorus until they bring it in. That's insane. What? 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 <gasps> Are you kidding? Now, they're making it feel like a more marching band type beat because they're yeah. like alluding to the military yeah, killing yeah, yeah. the love. Oh wow. That's insane. But and it's interesting because oh, my we God. have this military feel in like a performance church yeah. area with a giant organ. Great. Actually okay. not. I'm really I, overwhelmed. Oh my God. And yet it was this, I feel like I feel like this was more minimalistic than do 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 do. Oh yeah. Because, yeah, because well even the chorus, like they cut out the bass entirely. Like uh -huh. that's that's crazy. It was like right on the first, it comes in the first beat, but then you don't have anything Five, for like six, two seven, full eight, bars, one, and then two. it comes. Yeah, back it's in. Uh, half notes. Da, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Da. But yeah, I want to listen to that again. Um, I also want to figure out. So we do the the trumpet. That part is in the Locrian mode, which is flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six, flat seven. It's a minor scale, but more notes are lowered. And then I think we change modes throughout the song, but I think that it's interesting how they have a consistent image and then they actually do sing over the Locrian mode in the first verses versus the chorus when they just have like a fifth interval jump for the da 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 
let's kill this love. It was, it's like sensory overload. Like they did, there were just so many different like clear sections of the song that were all so different from each other. And then all of a sudden in this last, like, I don't even know if it was a verse or chorus, whatever, like this big marching band kind of number, yeah. but it was a very like military style marching band, not like high school marching band. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it was very like military band type. Lots of layers of snares. Yeah, lots of snare. And even like the other instruments were very like, squared off, yeah. I guess you could yeah. say, and then their, their outfits in that section too went with that and it overall felt like there was just this big military theme and they were yeah. like, let's kill this love, which is just like <laughs> insane amounts of symbolism. I'm just, I'm gonna go into a second listen, but thank you Lindsay for coming for the yes. very first listen. <laughs> Have a that great insane. rest of your day. <laughs> you too. Blast this in the car. Oh yeah, of course. Windows down. Windows down, music up. Okay, so let's go for round two of Kill This Love where I can pay more attention to what is happening in each section and just kind of just like gather my thoughts after the shock of the first listen. <laughs> oh, overwhelming amounts. Yeah, so this is a pipe organ and some pipe organs do have like trumpet bells coming out of the pipes. Clack percussion sample layering over the trumpets. What I love about Jenny's singing style, she has a lot of little, I feel like, neighboring tones, like really quick times where she's prolonging one note and then she like jumps up to another note before going down to another note. This is when the chord progression comes in. And we have like a syncopated keyboard and other synth line. I like this in the background. That's kind of doing counterpoint to the vocal melody. Okay, yeah, so this is where just synth comes in and then trumpet line continues and then bass. Yeah, that continues past the original synth that only lasts for like one or two beats. Yeah. So this sixth section is completely different um, instrumentation and everything else from the intro. So last time we had, okay, so it's Rosé first this time, when we had Jisoo the first time. Now we have Jisoo, so they switched parts. That's cool, I like how they organize the members in this song, the line distribution. And bigger harmonies towards the end of the phrase. And now the bass, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it feels so empty because the bass isn't lasting very long and it isn't too thick. And I love this part because it's, I think it's flat sev or a flat note because we've been prolonging tonic for a while and that transition synth was lower than the tonic. And we have an octave underneath Rosé's voice. Now everything is just put together with a new melody because we have the trumpets. Double bass plus the ah ah thing. Wow. Yeah, they manage even when yeah layering it at at the end they manage it to make it not too overwhelming. So it isn't like a sudden climax, but the song is truly I feel like we're we're at this point in energy and or just sound thickness. And then at the end, we add everything together. So it's just like kind of like a gentle but sudden climax at the same time, which I'm sure would be much more exaggerated if you hear it live and the bass is even boosted even more there. I understand with Duda Duda Duda, a lot of people felt like it plateaued early and that it really needed a bigger 
drop at the chorus and I wonder if people feel the same way for this because yeah I'll, there, there, there's no drop so leave in the comment section if you feel the same way towards the song than you did with do 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 or if even though this song didn't have a drop you still feel like it isn't missing anything so let me know in the comments what you think and thanks for watching bye